Good morning campers. So here we are with another flip through Friday. I'm just glad it's Friday so we'll just leave it that at that. Um, so I'd like to do more of this this year and that is for flip through Fridays feature specific artists that I feel like maybe they deserve a little bit of love or people may not know about them too well. So um, every so often I'd like to do a flip through Friday where I feature a particular artist and their books and that is what we're doing today. We are taking a look at the books that I have by C.L. Aldrich. Now I personally had not, I was not familiar with C.L. Aldrich's work until uh, she was a featured artist on A Colorful Life last year. And when I first saw her art, I kind of thought maybe it wasn't my thing, but I did uh, find one book I liked and I purchased it. And ever since then, I've been a huge fan of her work. So what we're gonna do is go through the two digital versions of books that I have, and then we'll go through the three paperback versions because I'll have to switch between two different types of recording software. So without further ado, for the digital flip throughs, we have a book called Fantasy Flower Garden, and we also have Flowers of Fantasy. Now, um, I purchased both of these off of the, her Etsy shop, and they came in different parts, and the, my assumption is because the files were so large due to the quality of the images. So we'll scroll through this first part, then we'll go to the next tab, and so on. So this is Fantasy Flower Garden. This is the title page to the book, which looks a little different than the front. I think I know which picture is the actual cover of the paperback version, so we will look at that. Here's your copyright page. Contact information for C.L. Aldrich. Then she provides many uh, thumbnails of the images in the book, which is really handy. Here's the one I believe is the actual cover of the paperback version, the one with the squirrel which was one of the main ones that I really wanted in this one. And the bunny, of course. So there are those. She also provides these in craft greeting card sizes. And I'll show those at the end. And you also get bonus pages from some of uh, to highlight some of her other books that are out there. All right, this also shows what other books there are available. Actually, I have the travel size book of flowers, birds, and butterflies. So now I'm going to have to go track that down in between <laughs> video clips because I totally forgot I had that one too. So, more information. Provide some tips about if you're using marker and gel pens, use a blotter sheet. These are uh, in the paperback versions, these are one sided. If I recall correctly, where'd they go? I just had them in my hand. Oh yeah, they were right there. Smooth, Michelle, real smooth. Yes, these are all one-sided pages. It is Amazon printed paper, but of course with digital versions, you can print it out with any page paper that you like. Here is your nameplate page. Now, <laughs> I will say, if you're not a fan of coloring flowers, any of these books that have flowers in the title perhaps may, may not be entirely your game. But the good news about her Etsy shop is that there are individual pages that are sold as well. So if you do like her work, but maybe you don't like coloring a lot of flowers, there are other pieces that can be downloaded as individual pages to color as well. And I'd like to feature those, but I have a number of those and it would take us all day. So we're just going to scroll through the books. I'll give you the link to her Etsy shop and you can go there and browse to your heart's content. I love the mixture in her art. I've mentioned this before when I did a flip through of her latest book um, a couple weeks 
couple weeks back. I can't quite remember. We'll go back through that one today, but um, she has a nice mix of symmetrical pieces like this. Not really a mandala, not really like a pattern per se, but it still has that symmetry that can be extremely relaxing when you're coloring the page. So that is the end of part one. I also like that she does add in little unique drawings like this, especially uh, the little animals that she draw, draws are super cute. So there is part one. I think I got them all. Okay. On to part two. This is the cover of the paperback book and probably will be the first one I color in this book. It's very cute. I love squirrels. We all know this. My husband does not, but I do. I like them. Cats like them too, but for entirely different reasons. And, and I like squirrels enough to try to keep them away from the cats. The cats might like the squirrels a little too much. I do really like how she draws her flowers. They're drawn in a way you can make them as simple or as detailed as you'd like. Like this page would look beautiful with just a straight color. It would also look beautiful with a lot of blending in um, some of these other areas right here. Now I can't obviously can't flip these to landscape mode <laughs> easily, but I love the little mice and the little piece of cheese. I think he's pointing at the cheese like, hello, wake up, look what I have brought for you. See, that's what happens. A man goes and is, is nice and goes and buys, the, I guess the mouse equivalent of flowers would be cheese. And she's not even noticing it. It's pitiful. Poor mouse. Anyway. <laughs> I love the bunny. He's got a very concerned look on his face. Is he late? <laughs> I don't see a watch on him, so. <laughs> These are just adorable. And that's what I was saying. You know, you may not be a huge fan of coloring a lot of symmetrical patterns and flowers like this, but she does a really good job of providing a mixture of items. So there's kind of something for everyone in my opinion like scenes like this there's still a few little flowers but really it's the animals that are emphasized here so if you're someone that likes to color maybe a little bit this would be a great picture for you and then ones like this too it says helping a friend well the bucket's not big enough for him to bathe in though it's not a bird bath. <laughs> Sorry, I am in a goofy mood. Don't know why. Mostly just tired. I think it's that kind of punch drunk kind of tired. I like this one a lot. They're all different shapes, flowers, but there's still something symmetrical about the whole arrangement. And that's what it is. It's kind of like um, when you see really pretty flower arrangements put together. Um, ones that you can look at and touch it a lot of her art kind of reminds me of that it's like a on paper version of a really pretty flower arrangement that there's different things in it but it somehow still winds up being balanced i love them on the little swing doll too cute that would be a good one to color uh, around valentine's day You could do this a lot of different ways, like you could color one in full color, leave the rest of them in tones of gray, you could do one gray and the rest of them in color, you could, I mean, there's, you could do them all in different colors, there's so many different ways you could uh, take this split and do something different with it. So now we're getting into the greeting card size images, which is basically the images that we were scrolling through, but they're here in smaller, like greeting card size format. 
and they're really pretty. There's a number of ones on here that I would love to actually print out and use as little, uh, print out onto little cards and use those for family and friends. Oh, well, maybe she's bashful. Maybe that's it. He's all like, look what I brought you. And she's just, she's, she's shy. That must be it. And see, she's the forward one here. She's the one that's got the flower. Me and bunnies. I'll tell you what. <laughs> and then... Whoop, a few more of those. I like that. Again, it's basically a... Uh, on paper version of a flower arrangement. So here's some bonus pages, sample pages from her, uh, some of her other books, which I really appreciate that she uh, provides because then you kind of get a sample of some of her other work as well. My mom's a huge fan of hummingbirds. I like this. I think I saw Seal Aldridge actually do this one on her channel with uh, Prismacolors. It was very pretty. That's a beautiful quote. I like that. You see, look, even the bird is admiring the arrangement. And you know, there's space here to get creative as well. Like, at first I was really intimidated the idea of adding in some of my own uh, lines or different types of patterns or something into an image. But I, now I'm starting to get to the point where I'm interested in trying to do things like that to make things kind of unique. So you could put like stripes on this, you could put just some kind of, you could do a zen doodling, you could do all kinds of things there. All right, that is Fantasy Flower Garden. Now let's move on to Flowers of Fantasy. A coloring book of fantastical flower designs, flowers and vases, flowers and po poetry, and more. Oh, my cat is howling now. He has been in a mood all day. So the book we just went through, I believe that's just basically the standard format for all of her books, which I appreciate the consistency on that. So here are some thumbnails. We also get more craft greeting card size, sizes of the images and some more bonus pages. Other books. And then more tips and information, dedications. Here is your nameplate page. And here we go. I like how this one has the symmetrical shape of it, but then around the edging you also get the flowers as well to kind of break up that straight line look to it. This would be another one of those you could do like these in bright colors and these in grays or like opposite colors and you could do one side uh, light on dark background and do the other one dark on a light background or something. I think I said those right. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I'm coloring one out of one of her books right now, which you'll see it during the flip through, and um, I really am enjoying it. It's very relaxing. There is part one. I like this one. I believe these are pansies. That's what I'm all. That's what I'm gonna call them. They're pansies. <laughs> and again, you could color these with a straight color. You could use a pair of colors, three different colors. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with these images.
and because I mean even on Amazon printed paper there's all kinds of blending you can do with pencils markers watercolors what have you oh my neighbor's dogs are out again oh goody I think I downloaded this one as a separate page in of itself before um, I ended up getting the entire book it's just something about the flowers and how they're different from each other but again you've got that it's something um, I remember in my art lessons it's something about an odd number being more comforting to the eye than an even number of something usually when you're doing art and I like this one a lot too I like how some of these just they have patterns within the petals but then some of them are like this where they kind of stand on their own Now I like these two a lot. Actually, I almost want to color these first because first off, these are hydrangeas, if I'm not mistaken, and I love those. But you could color these as a pair to put side by side, which would be really pretty to do if you hung them up side by side. All right, now we're to part three, and we've got a birdie and a bird bath. Let me grab a drink of coffee. need that caffeine absolutely I love these smaller flowers here and the detail work of the ivy there now we get to some quotes <laughs> oh my gosh some high school English uh, nostalgia happening right here. <laughs> I love the variety of these. I'm bringing some Lord, Lord Byron up in here. We saw this as a sample page on one of the others, and I really like this one. And the Hope one. I like these with the poetry added to them in the quotes. Now we get the greeting card versions, just smaller versions of the images in the book. There's that one. Move it on to part four. I think it's part four. Yep, we're on part four. This one could be really dramatic. If you maybe blacked out the background here and then use some really vibrant colors through it, that would really make it pop. I think these would be pretty side by side too. A lot of these you could pair up the way they've been drawn. You could even make these little mini sizes and still frame them. I think these are five by sevens is that right sorry now I gotta go look it's good it's not here I'll look out another page but I think they are or maybe not maybe I'm crazy they're not that big anyway you could do them a smaller size too is basically what I'm saying and if you knew someone who was a big fan of Shakespeare or a uh, beautiful poem for your sweetie or just something inspirational that you want to put up on your wall and then we get bonus pages these are uh, drawings that she had done long before she ever thought of creating coloring books um, they really wanted her to offer them as PDF downloads they've been popular so she provided some sample pages for you in this download as well so if you like these she also offers them as individual page purchases on her etsy shop there's that other one i love the segments like this again it's something it 
you look at each one and they look balanced in of themselves and when you look at it from afar it looks at first it might look a kind of chaotic but then when you really get to looking at it it kind of balances out I like that one a lot too here's some more side-by-side -side ones that you could do if you know somebody that likes butterflies all right so those are the two that I have in um, digital format we are going to bop on over to my webcam and we're going to go through the four paperback books that I have of hers and through the magic of the internet I will be back in like point something seconds And now we are to my physical copies of some of C.L. Aldridge's books. Well, I managed to enunciate that right without coming out to be a jumbled redneck mess. Anyway, yes, I do have four of them. At first I was concerned because I couldn't find this one. Then I realized it was in my purse because, hello, travel size book, right? Anyway, we're going to run through these four. This one I've done a flip through of recently, but I am going to go ahead and do it again, just in case you're new to the channel. We have, I have been seeing quite a few new subscribers, so hi subscribers first off. And secondly, this may be new to them if they didn't get a chance to catch the other one. So first up, we'll do the travel book. And y'all get to see my glorious coffee stains on my little pad here. It's almost getting to the point I probably need to flip to a fresh one, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty abusive to these. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a refill soon. Hang on a minute. I could have stopped the camera and done this, but I am feeling lazy. And for some reason, this one's not wanting to come here. This part of it. Now it gets to be really loud and obnoxious, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. There. Dramatically threw it behind my head. <laughs> a little bit of bleed through from the marker, but actually not too bad. So this is the travel size book of flowers, birds, butterflies, and more. Let me do one thing real quick. Okay. I just wanted to zoom in a little bit and let me make sure. Okay. Since I did the giveaway the other day, I've been super extra paranoid about my sound not being on. So, yeah, that was a dumb move, but, you know, I can't randomly generate the same number again. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't be random, so I had to kind of roll with it. Again, these are by C.L. Aldridge, and you actually could see it there, but I'll show you. In relation to a typical coloring book I'd say this is about maybe 60 percent uh, just about the same width there's a little bit of difference but maybe I'd say 50 to between 50 to 60 percent of the height I don't know I'm, I'm a bad judge of that stuff but anyway it's a good book if you have if, if you travel with it just don't forget it's in your bag <laughs> like some people mm-hmm well so here we also we have an also page also by some more different ones different um, books to look at contact information illustrations 1 through 12 are from flowers and dreams Illustrations 13 through 24 are from Flower Inspirations. And illustrations 25 through 36 are adapted from Flowers and Flyers. So you get you get three different books mixed in here together, which is cool. Alright, we've got our title page, nameplate page, excuse me. I did the very first uh, picture in this book, which was this one. I kind of like to look at this one sideways a little more for some reason. 
I did this kind of blend look using gel pens and then I used a um, sharpie or something to black out the back of it because I went with some bright neon -y colors and I figured it needed that kind of dramatic black background to it. Alright. Next one. Gotta be careful of that. Move my mic closer too. I'm gonna have to look into getting a new mic. This thing is aggravating the fire out of me. I like that one a lot. Is this the one? I think I saw I saw somebody color this one. It might be a different one that I've seen recently. It's similar. Like this pattern here. Again, you get that symmetry and repetitive pattern, but a lot of times presented in a way where each piece in of itself might look not like it's not symmetrical, but it, it does balance out. It's a very good use of balancing flowers and different imagery. I think it was this one I saw colored recently. And I almost missed another one. Look at me. That one's pretty. Again, you could do like yellow, maybe have a black background. I don't know what's been with me in black backgrounds lately. And you get a good combination of soft kind of rounded images and then you get these ones with the sharp edges to them a little bit too. See this one has, these have a little more of a flowy look to them. I was going to skip another page on y'all. Here's our butterflies. We, we were promised butterflies and they were delivered. And I am having some real trouble actually flipping through these pages. These would also be good to um, use, uh, these would be good to hang on the wall or um, use them for greeting cards or what have you, craft projects. This is gratitude. Then we have faith, charity. I don't know why I'm reading these off. You guys can see them. <laughs> yes, okay. If I miss one, I really apologize, but the paper's being rather a nuisance for me today. I know I, it's coming up on me getting a paper cut is probably what's about to go down. Now, uh, C.L. Aldridge also has a YouTube channel, as I've mentioned before. A lot of times she will color from her books on there, and I appreciate that even though it's Amazon published paper, she still shows, she still uses uh, Prismacolor, she uses ink tints, she uses water on it, and uh, makes it work. I appreciate she does that. It's like I said, when I first started coloring on this type of paper, I was basically told, you know, by everyone that you couldn't use watercolors or ink tints or anything like that on this paper. It just couldn't handle it. And I've been happy to report myself and even some other people have started uh, bucking that trend. I really like this one. This would be good. Annie is literally climbing the window. 
literally like she puts her paws all the way up on the frame it's an old type of frame where you roll up the windows and they're like rope pulleys yeah not exactly energy efficient we're working on that we just haven't gotten to the windows yet anyway she has put her paws up on the frame and like tried to climb up now i don't know why she's trying to climb up because um it's not like it leads to outside so it's been colder the last few days and they are aggravating me so much about going outside and i'm sorry i'm not sitting in here in 30 degree weather with that window wide open this will be good for a uh, winter the winter wonderland color along because really when you think about uh cardinals you think about the winter at least i do because they're the ones that i see that stick around and that, against when it does finally snow they're so bright and they pop so much against that snow i'm lucky enough to have a number of uh there we go i like that one with the sunset or the sunrise depending on how you want to look at it is it half full or half empty i don't know is that like a similar association probably not i think my mom would really like this one i think i have flowers and flyers in the bigger version yes i do so you will see some of these again here momentarily i love that owl leroy not my cat has that look on that cross-eyed look on his face sometimes <laughs> all right and you get some blank pages back here which is actually really nice she intentionally left them blank so you can use them for a color test or you could pull one out and use it as a blotter page now here is some information in terms of do you like this travel size book would you like to see more uh, you know you can ask she might have plans to do more smaller travel size books which I really like and I will be using this this weekend probably here is her contact info I will leave this here if anybody wants to pause I also appreciate she offers um, these as PDF downloads as well in Etsy to me you know some people especially in certain countries can't use Amazon or they don't want to use Amazon because the shipping's just horrendous. So being able to offer them as a PDF download gets, gives everybody kind of a chance at them. This is Flowers and Whimsy, Ornamental Flower Patterns, Butterflies and Dragonflies. Sorry, I was, I was blanking out for a minute thinking. I don't know why I'm trying to think about stuff when doing this. Hang on a minute. We're having, okay, well, my microphone needs to be closed, but it doesn't need to be laying on my chest. Trust me, there's plenty there for it to lay on. It's a good shelf. Anyway, I am so sorry. Flowers and whimsy. We've got our title page here with a smaller version, I suspect, of one of the other images in the book. This would also work well as a test page. This follows a similar format in that you have contact info and copyright information. You have the smaller thumbnail versions of these images. You also get six bonus drawings. This is the first time that these have been offered in a print book. They are still offered at the Etsy shop, I believe. Also by C.L. Aldridge. And your info, information for using the book. Your nameplate page. And we are off to the races. Now these, to me, seem a little more detailed than some of her other books, which there is nothing wrong with that. Sometimes just focusing on the details of something, um, it's a lot easier to kind of, I guess, check out and relax a little bit. 
sometimes I need to color so I don't think because right now coloring and computer games to a point depending on what I'm playing coloring computer games and dance fitness are the only times out of the day that my brain is not just going like a hundred miles an hour let me back out a little the way the the patterns are set up I want to make sure you can see everything so but they're the only times out of the day that my brain is not just boom 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 going with like 20 different things at once in my head and I need that I've noticed tapering off my gabapentin has caused my anxiety to kick up now this is a page I did complete in here I think for the artist of the month feature I did cut it out though I'll probably try to keep it in the book from here on out because at the beginning I was cutting out images and I don't really like doing that anymore anyway this was completed using the Arteza fine liners and I wanted to try out some different types of dots and patterns rather than just coloring everything in solid and I really like how this turned out this was one of the yeah this was one of the two books that I purchased um, actually I think I purchased this one first and then I went and got flowers and flyers because I liked this so much I like having theme color law months and featured artist months because a lot of times even seeing other people color out of these books it's different when you're tr you're wanting to color something and like you may have I don't know what just fell but that can't be good that might mean other things will follow if you hear a big crash then I guess that's the case but um a lot of times I if I'm not familiar with an artist but I see people constantly posting their work or if there's a featured color or a featured artist of the month color along I like this one a lot then um, I like these two I it's a good mix of simplicity and then like some really detailed images as well some days you just feel like one way or another and I like that she gives you options on that but um, I've had a number of artists and books that I haven't been didn't think I would like and then for a color long I may either purchase a download from an Etsy shop or purchase a book just to try them out and then I end up liking them so that happens way more times than I ever expected it to so just because a featured artist comes up and you're not a particular fan maybe try them out go to the Etsy pay go to their Etsy shop if they have one they may have individual downloads I know uh, she provides some individual page downloads and those are usually a couple dollars maybe and download one and print it out and try it out you may find a new artist that you like and you didn't expect to I think for Mandala Madness what I'm going to do is not only uh, go with mandalas but like patterns like this too just to give some more variety of the theme to use just basically it's going to be anything that's pattern based or symmetrical or what have you so all right so we have 12 adaptive versions of the larger drawings perfect for framing these are five by seven look at me or for crafting scrapbooking and making greeting cards also great for working out your color schemes for the larger drawings which I have done before I think it's in one of the other books that I'm going to show you that's actually a really good way to use these as well when you're getting ready to color one and like you're maybe not feeling too confident about the colors you picked or the method you're trying out this is a great way to be able to test those out 
because of the size of these, these actually would fit, fit in my planner. The five by seven, they're wanting to scoot on me. All right, fine. We'll just leave. Fine, just be that way. Jeez, book. It wants to all be in the picture, not just the side I'm showing. But um, these would fit actually perfectly in my planner. It would work out really well if I took them, cut them down the size, and left you know some of the white space, hole punch them, and put them in there. And that would even give me some more travel size book options. All right. So here are bonus pages that hadn't been in print before this book was printed. I think she re referred to these as ink heavy, but I like them. They're very dramatic. Ooh, this reminds me of snacks all around. That's kind of cool. It's funny how you can look at something and think one thing and then another person looking at it may think something entirely different. I like the dramatic feel of the dark pictures as well. Maybe that's just because I'm a dark kind of person. I don't know, but <laughs> I know my humor is dark. We know that about me. But I really like these a lot too. This is one of those pages I would want to work on, like if I just didn't want to think about anything. Here is a color testing page or a potential blotting page. Are these perforated? No. I thought they were. Of course not, because I had to cut out the one. Come on, Michelle, get with it. This shows some of her other works. Oh, she does have some more travel size books, it looks like. Maybe. Oh no, maybe those are full size too. And then you can tell I was already starting to test the fine liners just to see what they would do. They are all one sided, so it's not a huge deal, but as you can tell, they just, some of them very lightly ghosted through, but with them being single page, it doesn't really make much of a difference to me. Flowers and Flyers are next. This is the adult coloring book of Flowers, Songbirds. Songbirds, enunciate Michelle. Hummingbirds, butterflies, owls, ornamentals, and more. There are my uh, hummingbirds. Come on, Michelle, it's right there in black and white. how here we go I know some of you are cringing that I did that there is dedication and thank yous I like that she uses uh, colored renderings of her drawings uh, from other people for her books I think that's really cool nameplate page. Now what's interesting to me is I feel like just right off the bat, well maybe not. I thought the line art was a little darker but maybe not. I had a different feel right there from the get-go. I can't quite put my finger on it yet. A good, good difference. I mean I, I still really like these. I'm just I can't quite remember, or I can't quite put my finger on what feels different about these. These are, I think, a little less detailed than the ones from Flowers and Whimsy, and that might be, that might be what I'm feeling here. You also get more of your flowers being part of the picture overall, or as part of the background rather than the featured, like the absolute featured piece. Your, your birds here are your your centered featured pieces. That little dude. Is he getting a strawberry? Do birds eat? I bet birds eat strawberries. They probably eat like the real little ones or something. Birds eat a lot of weird stuff. They'll ignore your bird seed and eat everything else. 
And see, here are some that are a little more detailed. These ones actually feature your flowers more and your butterflies. Again, with a variety of images, which I like. I like it a lot. Butterflies. There's a page I'm doing with the chameleon markers, which I haven't touched in forever because I'm having a problem finishing my whips, um, that I'm using the chameleon markers with, with the butterflies. And I really like how that one's turning out. So I may, for the pictures like that, I may very well use that again. And now we have butterflies, Hydra hydrangeas, very cool. Actually, these would be gorgeous side by side. I really like these. I'm getting all kinds of ideas now in my head. All right, now we get to, whoop, make sure I didn't skip a page. Nope. I don't think I did. Huh. Oh, so these are here as a pairing as well. Very cool. And we have another little mousy. And an owl, actually, back here being all judgy. I don't know what he's being judgy about. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, why is it I like all of the um, animals that cats really like, too, but they like in different ways? I mean, I, I don't catch and eat birds um, on my own, I guess. I have a, <laughs> never mind, I'm not going to tell that story. No, I did not catch a bird and eat it. No, I did not go hunting and catch something and eat it. We do have wild chickens around here, though. No lie. That's the one I was talking about that my mom would like a lot. I'll have to remember that. I don't think she watches. <laughs> Pretty sure she doesn't watch my videos, so. No, maybe it was, no, that was one I saw from the get-go I really liked. And then we have a full-size version of Mr. Owl. I fought my love for owls forever and a day, but I have since learned to embrace them. I like that she puts frames around these, too. A lot of times when I'm using um, an 8x10 frame and it doesn't come with a mat, this frame uh, really helps fill in the white space around it so that there's not much showing if I do decide to frame these. Okay, are these, I think these are all the, si the greeting card size ones. There's the cardinals again. Did I skip that page? I feel like I skipped that page. Sorry. Like I said, this paper is not my friend today. Yeah, I'm actually recording this on Thursday night. Spoiler! I figured I'd try to get on the ball for the weekend. It may or may not be busy at this point. And the, I know the book's going to fight with me again, so... No, this one's behaving itself, as long as I keep my hands on it. And there's your... Ooh, you could do three of them. You could do the bigger one here, and then do the two smaller ones side by side. And then you'd have a set of three, instead of just a pair. It's kind of interesting, some of these, when you look at them side by side in the uh, greeting card size, they actually are more symmetrical than you would have even noticed going from page to page. Oh, here it goes. I knew it wasn't going to last. Alright. So we've got a blotting page and color testing page. We've got a couple of those back here. We've got some of her other books. I don't think I have either one of these. One of them is Flowers and Dreams, and the other one's Flower Inspirations. In the travel size book, the uh, words that were in it 
like healing and faith and stuff. I, this is the book I was coming from, I believe. And some of her contact information again. This time I'm going to zoom in on it specifically so you can see it. Just because I can. Mm -hmm. Got your screenshot or what have you. A couple more blank pages. And we're going back out. Wee! All right, one more. This is her latest release, which is Fabulous Flowers. A coloring book of flowers, imagination, and symmetry. I, I like the black background on this. I don't know why I'm drawing. So when I, <clears throat> really weird when I read at night, <clears throat> I tend to like a black background with white text. It seems easier on my eyes than white paper with black text on it. I don't know why. Obviously, I can't make a paperback do that um, <laughs> without a magic marker and like white out. And I'm not that, or with a marker and white out, and I'm not that uh, dedicated to it. But for some reason, I'm always drawn to the black background images. I love this one. A cat and flowers. You can't go wrong with that. I'm telling you. We got our thumbnails. This time, she provides the drawings and greeting card crafter size. And then you actually get two... Um, pages that are blank that you can fill in yourself if you like, which I think is really cool. And then you get bonus pages from her other books as well. Whoop. Why did I have this marked? I can't remember. There's a kitty here though. Uh oh, kitty may not be coming up. Kitty may stay on this. No, there it goes. Dedication page. And again, using color swirk on the cover. I really should, there are so many books I come across that I never am sure what I want to color. And I really just feel like I should start from the get-go and just go front to back. And that's what I probably should have done here. But as I was flipping through, and no, it was not the cat page. Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all immediately were like, it's the cat page, isn't it? She went and colored the cat page. No, no, I did not pick the cat page. I'm savoring that. I'm waiting. really like this. Now, these are a little more open, which I like. It, it gives definitely a different feel to it. See, look, it wasn't the cat page, y'all. I don't know if you should be proud or disappointed in me. But these don't have the frame, which I kind of like. <clears throat> Again, it gives a different feel to it. It does. It still feels symmetrical, but it feels a little more open in those pictures. I don't know. They feel a little freer to me. If you're someone that likes a lot of symmetry and order and everything's con you know contained as it should be. These images probably appeal to you more. But I like a variety of them. I like the open ones like this too. These are the ones that can really get like my imagination going. I love this one with the bird cage. They're free, they're free. Fly, fly away. I like this one with the strawberries, it's pretty using those instead of flowers. Really nice. And these are, they're about average size books with the images themselves, but when you include the greeting card versions and the extra pages in the back, you're getting a really good amount of pages to color in these books. Oh, this one with the raindrops. I love it. Love it. And these almost remind me of like butterfly wings right there. 
and you've got snow. You've got rain and snow. Hey, another winter wonderland one. I'm finding those all over the place. Now this one reminds me of those bonus pages with the darker pop of the ink. I like how that's kind of like a wood panel background on that one. All right, so this is the one I've been working on, as you can see. I'm using Crayola Blend and Shade pencils on the purple and the pink here. They work really, seem to work really well in this paper. I did have to, of course, press down a little bit as with Amazon printed paper, it is a little rough and um, you may get some white space if you, and if you don't like that, you can use blenders and stuff. I was able to blend in just using the pencils and they are a slightly harder kind of pencil compared to like Prismacolors and stuff. The rest of this was done using the Leisure Art water, or excuse me, Leisure Art brush tip markers. I was using this as a sample page when I was doing that review and I liked them so much that I went ahead and added them in. I did even a little bit of blending right here in the middle using the yellows and the oranges and I like how it turned out. Just about done with this one actually. And there is, that is not part of the book. <laughs> As you can tell, markers do bleed through and even your colored pencils, especially if you're pressing hard, they will um, provide like kind of wavy ridges on the back. So definitely use a blotter page, even if you're just using pencils. It was a tough choice between that one and this one. I really, it's something about the open ones with like three or four flowers that just, uh, they're some of my favorites, I think, out of all her pictures. These could be used as bookmarks, which would be cool. And again, I like how there are a few frames here for if you want to try drawing your own patterns. I will one day. I am not going to sit here and say I won't, but I don't know when that will be. <laughs> Maybe not anytime soon, but I do want to get more into art, but man, there's only so much time in the day. So here are your greeting card sizes. cat is over here snoring. I'm not sure if you can hear him. It is Mr. Snorio. I'm trying not to make eye contact with my cats because they're not going to get fed for about another hour and they're already starting to try to make eye contact with me and hint. And they're not getting fed for another hour. They're going to aggravate me to no end until I feed them, then poof, they will all disappear. Like magic. Hopefully I'm not skipping any. There's the, that would be an interesting pair to have. Oh, I didn't even notice that one. That's cool. So you have like a trio there. Again, a black background with the little, uh, Snowflakes, there you go. I evidently cannot identify things today. <laughs> now, what I did here was I tested that blend of the three different colors. I think it was, well, they're right here in front of me. A, the violet, now these are the Crayola Blend and Shade pencils. Violet, Orchid, and Magenta was what I used. And I did some little tests here just to make sure that the blend would go the way I wanted it to. So, there we go. And these could be even smaller bookmarks if you wanted them to be. There. Sorry. And then you've got another opportunity here. You could always test your patterns here and then draw them on the bigger pages. In order of placement, a sample page from the also by adult coloring books of artist Seal Aldridge. There is a cat playing on that scrap piece of paper behind me. I am sorry for the noise. 
Oh, they do have, they do have travel sizes. Very cool. I did not know that. Oh my gosh, Oreo, you are snoring so loudly. It's crazy. And then we got another one of these. Which is good, because I can think of a number of... I, I think of a few people I'd want to color this for. I'd like to frame one. So, I have no issue with that. There's a little Mr. Mouse admiring the flowers. And then you've got your tester page, your blotter page. I really appreciate that she does that in her books. Because I hate the thought of messing up a perfectly good page. Um, I know vaguely how pencils and marker will do on the paper. But when it comes to things like water-based mediums or distress ink or something like that, this is where I would want to test that out. And... I don't know if there are different types of create space paper, but this has it. Well, okay, it's not listed as create space anymore, Michelle, so shut up on that. Amazon printed paper. I kept telling myself I would never be able to get it. I'm getting better. But anyway, this has a different feel to it than those, uh, than the Jade Summer books that also use Amazon printed paper. So there's probably different types. More information on her YouTube channel or website and some of her different books and there we go another blank page see I can tell if it's Amazon printed paper if I didn't know beforehand is when it this is on the very back of it I know that this was Amazon printed paper because they all look like this so um, oh there were 26 designs in this one so that is all the books that I have, though, of course, that collection will, will grow, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm trying really hard not to buy a lot of stuff this month. Not doing too good a job, but hey, I, I got a small haul from book outlet, well, medium sized, and then I got a really small one from Dover, so I'm doing better, at least. I had stuff in my cart the other night, and I deleted it. So, come on, y'all, baby steps. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed these flip-throughs, that you got a chance to see a lot of the art of C.L. Aldridge. As I said, her paperback versions are available on Amazon Printed Paper on Amazon. I will link those below. I'll have timestamps, as I usually do. And I will also link to either the Etsy version of the book or, and I'll link outright to her store as well. Hope you enjoyed this and bye for now.